This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Communication is an essential process that accompanies people throughout their whole lives. For a contemporary communicator, it is quite important to understand the basics of communication theories and concepts as well as apply them in his or her professional practice. However, a plethora of communication theories existed before modern facilities and digitalization took place. Indeed, nowadays, technologies and conditions affect the communication process to a great extent. Thus, it might be necessary to perceive the fundamental theories and concepts on the mentioned topic through the prism of contemporary and traditional communication efforts and new media messaging strategies. There might be three different prisms through which the communication process can be explained. The first considers communication as a one-way process of meaning construction, in which the sender attempts to construct or reconstruct the meaning developed by the receiver. According to this direction, as an example of digital communication, sending an email to someone is a one-way process that starts being successful after the recipient gets and reads the text. In this case, the key actor in communication is the sender because the recipient plays a passive role and does not affect the process substantially. It should be mentioned that the discussed above direction has lost its reliability today. The second approach views communication as a two-way process of meaning construction, in which two or more people construct new meanings together. The crucial component of the communication process here is interaction in which the sender and recipient, or the group of ones, actively contribute to the development of information sharing and understanding. The sender disseminates some facts, and the recipient perceives them, analyzes them, and responds. For instance, Within the framework of the second direction of communication theories, a conversation between two people via FaceTime is a two-way process in which both parties are taking an active part. The two approaches above might be difficult to apply exhaustively to modern reality, but not as the following one. The third direction considers communication as an omnidirectional diachronic process of meaning construction, in which the focus is on the continuous development of meaning itself. Theories of this kind also assume that interaction has a vital role in the communication process but consider it a dynamic interplay between people involved. Interaction here is characterized by continuous functions changing and the importance of a relationship with communication but not with each other. An example is as follows, the United Nations General Assembly UNGA, has made a loud statement on the improved organization's policy regarding gender equality. Here, the assembly is the sender, and the diversified global society is the recipient. Then, the global community starts responding to the proclamation via social and mass media, discussing the importance of appropriate gender policy and the United Nations' role in it. Now, people do not communicate with the assembly but with each other. Nevertheless, UNGA takes into account the global opinion, as a recipient, and adapts its policy to some reasonable ideas. The role of communication theory and its impact on the content of traditional communication attempts cannot be underrated. The theory forms a foundation for the practical implementation of knowledge and makes further investigations and improvements visible. The basic models and features of theories contribute to understanding and applying ambiguous constructs by a substantial number of people, not necessarily scholars or advanced communicators. Then, with the help of constant researches in this sphere, proficient communicators can develop essential skills. Furthermore, TV, radio, and print sources of information are affected by new communication concepts to a significant extent. They consider new findings of many scholars as an opportunity to apply modern principles of communication to their dissemination of information and affectation of viewer, reader, or listener. It might be supposed that mastering new media messaging plans according to set communication theories might be genuinely beneficial. Nowadays, media messaging is a crucial aspect of achieving success in various spheres, starting from regular communication and ending with business growth. 
Hence, implementing a number of approved findings and ideas related to communication into the emerging media messaging plan is a solid foundation for the further prosperity of any activity. Theoretical background highlights the possible ways of improvement and capacity of various new media messaging strategies, as well as reveals the weaknesses of a current one. I would like to conclude that my development as a proficient contemporary communicator is to be found in the in-depth knowledge of established communication theories and concepts, as they are the framework of any practice. Then, I will also conduct my own investigations within the scope of the communication process, which will allow me to critically perceive and analyze any communication in which I may be involved. The third mentioned direction of communication theory seems the most convincing to me as it emphasizes the complexity and dynamics of the communication process. Thus, I would use its concepts in my day-to-day -day development and learn more about the ideas of Berlo and Lindloff, who are among the brightest representatives of this approach. However, I will not restrict my contemporary communicator potential to Berlo and Lindelof's concepts and will be open to all reliable and relevant findings on the issue discussed. Did you like this, the concepts of contemporary communications sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the free database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs without even having to register.